I hope you're having a spooky week because this week, as you always, we are starting my Halloween recipes. For the next few weeks, I'm going to show you how to make some amazing Halloween recipes just for your little monsters. And that's not a trademark, Lady Gaga. Get out. This week, I'm going to show you how to make something for our little zombies. Okay, dessert junkies, first thing we're going to do is melt our butter in a saucepan and then we're going to add in our white chocolate. And this is going to melt and combine to a lovely mixture. Once you get to that point, it's now time to add in your marshmallows. And this is a great opportunity to use those pink marshmallows that you never use in anything. Then I'm going to add two drops of red food dye. Red is going to be our prominent colour and then we're gonna add different colors thereafter to get the brain look. Mix that in until your marshmallows start to melt and make sure of course you're doing this on a very low heat not to burn your mixture. Once your marshmallows have started to melt and using the color of the marshmallow and the pink, you can adjust the coloring. What I did is I added one drop of green. If you want more of a sort of a bluey kind of color you can add a blue droplet but I probably do it after you add the green so once you get all your colors lovely and combined your mixture should become essentially a brainy color so once you do get to the brainy color and get everything combined and melted it's time to take the stove the pot off the stove and start to add in your popcorn. Now this is just air popcorn out of those bags that you can buy. You can just use popcorn yourself, but I'm probably gonna use about three tables, three tables, three cups of the popcorn mixture. Now we're gonna coat our popcorn in our lovely melotinous jelly enough on brain mixture until it's all covered. Now I've just got a bit of olive oil on my hands and this is gonna stop my brains from sticking to my fingers. So you wanna make two little balls and essentially get them about the same size, probably no more than about 10 centimeters in diameter and then whack them together while they're still sticky. And this is gonna give you a bit of a ridge in the middle of the brain. So you've got your left and you've got your right brain and allow these to harden. You don't need refrigeration, they will just harden as the mixture cools. Once you have all your brains, it is now time to get on to the next step. Just before you want to serve your brains, you want to add some jelly. Now this is jelly can serve, jam, whatever you call it where you live. And the chunkier, the better. This is a fruits of the forest jam here. And I'm getting chunky bits and light bits. And I'm putting it in the ridge that we made of the brain to make it more juicy for the little zombies. So all you need to do is essentially, yeah, just get a teaspoon, be gentle and create a thin line where you made the join. Don't worry if it's a bit chunky because that means that person used more brain power. That's pretty much it. These will keep in an airtight container without the jam for around two to three days, but will get harder as you leave them. So don't leave them forever. If you are going to serve these, probably do the jelly the day of just before you serve them. And that's it. Brains! Ugh. There you go, guys. I tried to dress up. I've done the cat eye. Do you know how hard that is to do cat eye? Anyway, if you like what you see and you want to see more Halloween recipes, I've got a few more coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the one up here. Or the link below if you're watching on a mobile device. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next week.